Wait, this reminds me of something. This reminds me of the Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead is a 1968 American independent horror film directed, shot, and edited by the late great George A. Romeo. He also co-wrote the screenplay with John Russo. The Night of the Living Dead introduced a new kind of monster. The zombie. It's hard to believe that before this movie, the zombie genre didn't exist. This led to a new subgenre of horror, the zombie movie. Cinema goers have been going to zombie movies for five decades now. This has led to zombies in games, comics, films, and TV shows. The Night of the Living Dead was the first movie made outside a Hollywood studio to achieve success, grossing 12 to 15 million in its first few years of release in America. It also grossed 30 million internationally. It was also unheard of to cast a black man as a lead in a film. Joanna Jones auditioned and Romeo knew he was the best actor for the role of Ben. But unfortunately for the character Ben, after 90 minutes he is spotted through a farmhouse window and is shot dead by a group of hunters and law officers outside, thinking he is a zombie. Normally the hero of the film would die in a glorious fashion, but in The Living Dead, he dies because of stupidity. The Night of the Living Dead took gore to a whole new level. It opened the floodgates for more carnage in movies. The images of humans, even dead ones, chewing down on other people was something never seen before, even in the horror genre. The Living Dead also broke other rules, killing off all the main characters and portraying the military as largely ineffective. The Night of the Living Dead is 50 years old this year. Its influence is still being felt and the movie itself has lost none of its eerie and terrifying power. And that's why the Night of the Living Dead will live on forever. Ah!